Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm back on here today. I was having breakfast when, um, breakfast, bre I can't say the word breakfast, breakfast. I was having breakfast when I felt as though the Lord wanted me to come back on here and just declare to you guys happiness. I kept hearing happiness, 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 happiness in the Lord, happiness for what he is doing, take happiness for what he is about to do, be in a happy state of the Lord, a happy state, like a happy place. I think a lot of times, you know, um, I used to think that the word happiness was a worldly word, but it's not. It's in the Bible, and I'm going to find a scripture that backs this up because the Lord is calling you guys to be in a happy place in the Lord. Not happy in self, not happy in man, not happy in what you have and the things you're getting, not happy in the materialistic part of life. He's saying be happy and rejoice in my name for what I'm doing for you. He's saying he is sovereign. He is saying that he is king of kings, lord of lords. And and right now, let me tell you guys something. I'm about to start preaching. <laughs> let me tell you guys. You are in the Lord's royal DNA. Royal DNA. Listen to that. Royalty. You are called to be of of the king of the Lord. What is that? If we are heirs with the Lord, what does that make us? That makes us one with the Lord, one with Jesus. We are literally royalty. We are seated in heavenly places, in heaven, you guys. So that's who you're called to be. You're not called to be what the world calls you to be. So when you're feeling like you're depressed, discouraged, disappointed, anger, you're in bitterness, you're resentful, think about it. Think of two boxes. Think of box A being the worldly box. Box, what did I say? Box B being the heavenly box. To cross over, you can't take those things that are in box A, the worldly, that what they, the world thinks of you, what the world says of you, what what you're going through. You can't take those things of that box, and first of all, you can't bring it to the next place. You can't bring it to where God is taking you. So God wants to handle you. God wants to heal you. God wants to deliver you so you can sit in heavenly places with the Lord. That is royalty. When you understand this, you can walk according to what the word says. And I will find it here for you guys. You guys, so in Ephesians 2, chapter 2, verse 6, the Lord says, oh, sorry, I'm out of breath. It says, and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the un that he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So clearly the Lord is telling you, you are heirs of Christ, meaning you are seated in heavenly places. But in order to be where Christ wants you to be, seated next to him, you cannot take the old, the rugged, the past, the, the, the parts of you that you can't stand to look at, those are the, the, those are the, the places and the points where God starts to fill himself into you. And I think most times um, when there's something new, when there's a shift, a change going on, we tend to like kind of back away from the Lord because we, we're so used to feeling and being in that comfort of our old ways of what we know. But when Christ is trying to come in and change us and he wants to change us for his glory, for the better, that's when... You feel that 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 pressure. Just let go. Just let go. I I I I, I emphasize this, you guys. You will feel the Lord's love, His sovereignty, His royalty within you. You'll start to walk more like Him, talk more like Him, and it's not to be as God. Be it, it's to be like Christ. That's why He came. That's why God sent Him down to Earth to walk. Everything that He went through is what we're going through. So he's saying, I sent my one and only son down to be like you guys, that we are made in the image of Christ. 
So just remember that, you guys. I really pray that this word encourage you guys. And just know that you don't have to be perfect. God uses anybody. God uses anything. He'll use a rock, just like he did. He, he struck a rock in the Bible and water came out of it. So, and I will put that scripture down below. So I just want to encourage you guys with this word. Don't beat yourself up for what you don't know. Nobody's perfect. And when you walk with the Lord, you're righteous, not perfect. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys soon.